biking into a new era. The 24th China International Bicycle and Motor Fair is underway in Shanghai. China, once known as the Kingdom of Bicycles, is facing a transformation. China is a big power when it comes to manufacturing and using bicycles, but it's not an innovation powerhouse. Some of China's own brands have realized the gap between their designs and that of leading international brands. Forever Bicycle is one of those Chinese company. This time, it's bringing out a special bamboo bike, which is made with advanced material. Bamboo is very common in Chinese people's life, but few connect it with bicycles. Thus, they came up with the idea. Another innovative example is this tiny bicycle, with a thickness of only 240 millimeters and the ability to fold. People can easily carry it going out. There will be two kinds of bikes in the future. One is for transportation, and the other is for exercising, fun, and living a high-quality life. From an important means of transportation to creative, high-tech equipment for leisure, the bicycle's transformation has brought industry into a new era. Yu Li, CCTV. In the 1980s, bicycles in China were ingrained in everyday life and were an important means of transportation, earning it the name the Kingdom of Bicycles. China was home to 500 million bicycles in 1987. In recent years, cycling has declined dramatically in nearly all of China's major cities. And between 1995 and 2005, China's bike fleet declined by 35 percent from 670 million to 435 million and bicycle ownership fell from 1.9 to 1.1 bicycles per household and the difference can partially be explained by the growing number of electric bicycles it's estimated that there were well over 120 million such bicycles in china in the year 2013 one in five chinese bicycles has a battery and that ratio is likely to be higher in urban areas.